When I'm up through the night I can't turn down the noise Say all the words out of my mind Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome to another color grading tutorial and this is a very helpful one. Okay, before starting the video, I wanna thank them who are supporting me on Patreon. This is very helpful for me and it is always inspires me. Okay, if you want, you can also help me on Patreon. Uh, the link is on the description. Okay, now let's get started. Uh, okay, we will edit this picture today. We will color grade this picture. This is a very beautiful picture, but the dress is not perfect, right? Uh, the dress, the highlights is not uh, looking perfect. It's too much exposed. Uh, so I want to fix this. Uh, okay, you can go to the uh, camera row here. And I'll just decrease the value of the highlights and bring back the texture of the dress like this. So I'm giving around minus 50. Uh, I think this is fine okay look at this this is too much exposed and now i think it's perfect okay okay now press okay so it's done okay there is an another way to fix the highlights uh so click the layer and go to the image and then adjustment and here you will find the shadows and highlights option so from here uh you can easily uh, bring back the highlights from increasing this value uh but i prefer uh, camera raw because it gives you a lot more control so yeah, I choose camera raw. If you want to uh, fix from here, you can also do it. Okay, that's fine. And now uh, I'm going to the uh, channel mixer option. And here, select the green first. And in the green bar, I'm putting a zero uh, for green. And then I'm giving, I think, yeah, 100 for blue. It's looking nice okay uh, I can now go to the blue option and here in blue I'm giving a zero and in green I'm giving 100 maybe yeah 100 yeah it's fine it gives you a, which color it is purple okay send so the blending with two uh, lighten look at this this is the before and this is after it's it's really easy and quick technique to change the colors very beautiful and useful also that's fine now go to the selective color option okay uh, i want to increase the uh, cyan a little bit so let's do it okay let's first start with the red one okay for the red look at this i want to increase the red also so i'm giving here minus 50 i think it's fine and increase the yellow to fix the skin yeah it looks fine look at this this was the before and this is after it's fine now okay then go to the neutral option and here i want to increase the cyan so just increase look at this look at the difference okay here i'm giving around 20 yeah and 20 for cyan that's fine okay let's increase the magenta a little bit so i'm giving plus five for magenta that's fine okay the last option coming to the blacks and here okay okay i want this red it looks fine so here i'm giving around minus 30 yeah it's fine minus 30 for cyan in black look at this this was the before and this is after yeah it looks fine okay let's decrease the cyan a little bit here i am giving around 22 maybe or 20 yeah go with 20 that's fine it's good now okay uh, now go to the hue and saturation panel and here select the red one and i want to increase the saturation of red so increase the saturation of reds i think around 15 that's fine look at this look at the color look at the skin color look at the leaves it's fine look at the background it's fine okay now select your sign and this time i want to decrease the saturation of sign so here i am giving around minus 50 that's fine look at this this was the before and this is after it's yeah it's fine okay okay now create a curves adjustment layer and i want to give little bit of matter effect so you know the uh techniques just click on this point and drag this up look at this look at the faded effect but this is too much obviously so i am giving with i think yeah i think yeah it's fine let's see the before 
and after it is give a little bit washed out or faded or matte look okay drag down at the point and make a little bit dark here so i am giving i think like a little bit more darker i think i think yeah it's fine okay let's create another point here i think yeah this is fine okay let's bring this point a little bit down i think yeah this is fine okay this was the before and this is after now it's a little bit more contrasty and a little bit more faded effect okay now select the red channel here and click on this point and drag this up to add some reddish look in the background in the shadows mainly so just not too much just a little so i think this is fine and bring this point a little bit down so i think yeah this is fine let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after so i think the color grading is done it looks pretty cool now let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after look at this it gives you a little bit a uh, moody vibe little bit washed out cyan and red kind of color so yeah it's fine okay let's try with the same color technique with another picture okay with this picture i already made an action and you will get this action on my pattern account okay so let's try with this one nothing just you can create this color grading in one click with this action so find this action on my pattern account okay just click and done boom oh wow look at this this was the before and this is after it looks dramatic yeah it looks really good it is done so i hope you love this tutorial i hope you love this color grading also if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe